Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Te Atiawa First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Ah, interestingly enough, we've got end of a cycle and a particular somebody there. Hmm, let's see what this week brings. But I'm not going to read on him today. What I want to have a look at is I'm going to have a look at uh, whether Jill Stein will take enough votes from Harris in this particular reading. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Um, what I want to just very quickly mention, the trolls, yes, they're out in force at the moment. Um, there's no point. There's no point in commenting if, if you're a Trump supporter, this is not the channel for you. By commenting, all that happens is that you're feeding the analytics. That means you will get more of these sorts of videos in your feed. And it puts a few shekels in my pocket as well. So if you don't mind paying me, if you don't mind me turning you up, up in your feed, then go for it. But if you do, uh, troll, uh, then all that will happen is you will get, uh, you will get your, um, comment hidden it won't be removed i i don't block i can't i won't remove them but it will get hidden so you'll just be shouting into the ether um okay i uh, just be aware that uh, i do not have a facebook page uh the facebook page that is there that is offering readings via whatsapp is not me uh, it has been reported, it's been taken down, it comes back with a few tweaks, reported, taken down, back with a few tweaks, just ignore it completely. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. What I want to have a look is, um, oh, okay, for those that are following the polls, uh, just be aware, polls are paid for. Uh, stats, uh, what is it, lies, lies and statistics could just about as well apply to lies, lies and polls. Uh, very similar to uh, the tobacco industry paying the scientists to prove that tobacco was good for your lung health, etc. Uh, most of the polls that are coming out at the moment are of that calibre. And apparently, uh, even if you're looking at the sports bet, apparently uh, the authorities are investigating some incredibly large overseas bets that were made, uh, placed on Trump winning uh, to, again, skew. And what will happen is that uh, you'll find that once the uh, counting is underway, uh, Harris has declared the winner, uh, Trump and his cronies will come out with the fake polls and with the fake betting and say, it's not possible, uh, rigged, stolen, all the rest of it. So just be in that frame of mind. and But just also just stay in the energy that uh, until this is all resolved, Biden is the immune president sitting in the big chair. So <laughs> uh, it's not like uh, we're trying to get somebody removed. Uh, we're quite happy for Biden to stay in the big chair until it's all resolved. Okay, so what I want to have a look at using my gilded tarot royale is Jill Stein. Now, nothing against Jill Stein whatsoever, I think, uh, for a functioning democracy government to work, it does need robust parties and usually three of them, not the two-party system. Three is usually best. Um, but a little bit concerned that, uh, for example, what happened in Michigan, I believe, uh, in 2016, is that uh, Jill Stein, who was running for president then as well, uh, took enough votes away from Hillary, so it was sort of protest vote against Hillary, didn't want Trump, couldn't bring themselves to vote for Hillary, so voted for Jill Stein uh, and a bit of a protest vote about uh, the Clintons in general, apparently uh, tipped Michigan over to Trump. So the amount of votes that Jill Stein took uh, had in Michigan uh, were more than enough for Michigan to have then gone to uh, Clinton. So that determined the uh, results of, of that particular presidential election to a degree, to a degree. Now, at the moment, uh, she's, I believe, she polls about 1% countrywide, but it's particular states that are of concern. So uh, there is a concern that she uh, is going to get the uh, Arab American vote to a degree. Uh, there are uh, uh, canvases out there uh, advocating, urging voters to uh, vote for uh, Jill Stein as a protest vote. It's not the time for, I'm just going to say, it's not the time for protest votes. 
First of all, we need to get a functioning government. And then once the government is back to its moderate levels, then yes, the third party would be fantastic. Uh, and Jill Stein has said that she is, she's, has come out and said she's not sorry that uh, votes that went to her in Michigan uh, enabled Trump to get elected into the presidency in 2016. So I want to have a look. Just um, I'm going to have a look at Michigan because it seems that seems to be. I'm not quite sure why that seems to be the main state. I don't know whether she's from there or just that she's got very active uh, uh, volunteer staff there. But let's have a look. Show me. Will Jill Stein cause? Will Jill Stein take enough votes for any state to flip to Trump? Will Jill Stein, I'm getting told no. <laughs> Do I need to continue? Let's have a look. Will Jill Stein secure enough votes that Harris will lose a particular state? Will Jill Stein, got her image, will she secure enough votes for Harris to lose any state? Sorry, six minutes of me waffling. Um, okay, the death card, significant endings, new beginnings. The death of whom is the question? Uh, ending of a cycle. Ending of a dark cycle, the beginning of a new cycle, ending of Trump. Uh, usually, traditionally, it has the uh, the king trampled underfoot. So let's see where this is going to go. Significant ending into a light new beginning. Uh, lost disappointment and heartbreak. I'm I'm going to say I don't think Jill Stein will. The challenge is. Well, again, is she going to and is it going to be our disappointment? Is Jill Stein going to? Because the death card is a yes card for me. Five of challenged by the emotional loss, the emotional disappointment. Okay, thank you. Challenged by the outpouring of emotion rather than looking at what is on offer. They're looking at what has been lost. So I'm wondering, I'm thinking she might in Michigan. I don't think it's going to matter, but let's see how it goes. At the foundation, we've got strength. That's another yes card. Um, Jill Stein, oh, very much um, powerful, uh, intelligent woman, activist, academic, physician, knows her stuff. Okay, let's see where we go here. In the past, we've got. Legislators or bringing forward an idea, bringing forward a message. Okay, Let's see where this goes. Crowning the reading, it is going to be a crossroads moment. There is a decision that people need to make. Do they put forward a protest vote or do they vote for Harris? get it resolved, and then worry about um, setting up uh, a more robust third party. Let's see how, where it goes. The immediate outcome, Harris. Okay. I think this is more of a can-do. Can-do. By the immediate future is Harris. So what I'm getting, if I go back and look at these cards, we've got, Ending of a cycle, new beginning, emotional disappointment, strength at the foundation, but a crossroads moment. I think when push comes to shove, people, she does have the potential, yes and yes, but I think when push comes to shove, people will choose not to protest vote. Uh, externally, Another feminine, a secondary feminine energy with something not yet revealed, holding the emotions, the emotionally calm, stable, mature. And so I think this is Stein herself externally. 
Let's see where this goes. Internally, a collective awakening, a call to arms. Right. Hopes and fears. The steal the election, the stealing, the outcome. Will Jill Stein take enough votes to flip any state? The infighting with the messaging, the voter, and then the moving forward with the Six of Swords, and then uh, accepting defeat. The young people bringing about a tower moment. Uh, I don't know that Jill Stein's getting cut through to the young people. The young people, I think, I know it sounds crazy, I think the young people understand what is at stake more than the traditional uh, voters for Jill Stein. I mean, when she won Michigan against Clinton, it was eight years ago. However, uh, there's been a huge turnout of voters, first-time voters under 30, and I think the young people are understanding that there is more at stake than just a protest vote. So I'll just go a little bit further with this. Will Jill Stein get enough votes to make a difference in the election outcome? Will Jill Stein, I think this might be her last go round in regards to this as well. I wonder if that's the death card. It's sort of the last go round, therefore disappointment that she didn't achieve. Will Jill Stein get enough votes to make a difference? Okay, the star of hope and healing. The star, the star of restoring balance and hope and healing, challenged by the devil. I mean, it's the two, op in all honesty, it is the two options on the table. And I think voters are realising that. Um, they are major arcana, so they could be yes cards, but I'm not feeling it in the actual cards themselves. I'm just, voters are looking at the two options. At the foundation, we have Stein herself in the past, her uh, empty basket, the inability to harvest in some sufficient means, um, finding herself restricted. <laughs> For those that are a bit concerned about my um, cough or froggy throat or anything, I've got a bit of a head cold at the moment, which means I'm usually masked, uh, except for when I do these readings. Um, Self-restriction, potentially, legal restriction, finding herself, I, I think it's more finding herself restricted by reality. Okay. Defending her actions of actually standing. Queen of Pentacles, externally. It's very much about uh, who can bring forward healing and hope internally. Trying to bring a ship into harbour by harvesting some votes. But the out, uh, hopes and fears is the Ace of Wands, new beginning, the outcome. A decision at the ballot box needs to be made. The fading uh, misogyny, the lover's card, the unbalanced relationship, secrets coming to the surface. Is there something about Jill? Oh, goodness me, couldn't be with two weeks to go. <clears throat> I think this is just the feminine light of the moon shining on uh, what is really at stake. Seen and heard. The Hierophant, government. Money changing hands. Dark money. Is she going to be fake dark money in the past? Okay. Which will be emotionally overwhelming as it becomes fully illuminated. And we've got justice here. And we've got a message of receiving money that was offered. And that's my moral, financial, ethical corruption card. I don't like these about Jill Stein. 
And then we've got the death card, which is what we ended up with. And then the independent woman gilded in the gilded pay and the prosecutor. I mean, if I keep going, we've got fiery information coming in, out about money secrets that she has to surrender to. Okay, I don't like this about, I don't want this to happen to anybody, to be honest, except for Trump himself. Let's have a look. I'm, just, I'm going to follow where this is leading me. Is Jill Stein, for whatever reason, going to find herself in some legal hot water about some financial donations. It's Jill Stein. Couldn't possibly come out as close to the election, could it? It's Jill Stein. Oh, there's some poor choices that were made to get herself out of troubled waters. Let's have a look. Jill Stein. Now, don't attack the messenger. <laughs> oh, you want me to stop there? Okay. I'm just telling you what the cards are telling me. I wouldn't know Stein. I've seen her picture. I've read a quick biop of her, um, but I wouldn't know her from a bar of soap. Right. Overseas money. It's, my, it's also my money laundering card, but this is very much about money coming in from overseas, challenged by big money, 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 money. It's, Who's been donating to her campaign that maybe is not above board? Foundation there, we have a judge. In the past, we had a decision that needed to be made, a blind decision that was made, I'm getting there, about the legality of something, of a, of a, of a donation. We've got strength crowning this reading here. Immediate future, a whistleblower. Judgment, walking away, lies, deceit, betrayal, stealing, a bombshell out of left field, prosecution, explosive messaging, and then disappointment. Well, this is putting a new light on that very first reading. What was next? Cleopatra moving forward or there's a burdensome message here about oli the oligarchs that will be her downfall. We've got, oops, sorry, the next card out was Russia. An offer. An offer that was made. Goodness me. Now here we've got the emperor. Knight of Swords, a harsh truth coming forward about some dark money received in the past. She's going to have to surrender to the messaging. Eight of Swords, restriction. Okay, I might leave that there before I get myself in really, really big trouble with some of my viewers. Um, I'm wondering whether... Not saying she took it willingly. Big information coming out about Jill Stein. Courts, investigation, sort of truth. Uh, there might be something that comes out about some money. She may not have even been aware of where it came from, but it looks like it came from a dubious source. That could be her undoing, but goodness, what have you got? You've got two weeks, two weeks yesterday until the election. So, or two weeks today, because I'm a day ahead down, down under, down under and across the ditch. Sure. Just going to do a little quick for Carter. This one, he keep this, he keeps popping up. Show me. Show me, is there going to be some information that comes out about Jill Stein that is going to be quite, conf you want that one on the top too, quite confronting. Unexpected and, yeah. 
emotionally lost, disappointment, heartbroken. And on the bottom is something in the past. Information about money, an offer that was made that will get wider on the backside. That she gilded her nest with. Um, something in the past, Knight of Swords, Harsh Truth coming forward, and the hanged man that hung up and the money shook out. I, as I said, wouldn't know from a bar of soap. I have no personal investment or interest in Jill Stein. Um, as I said, it may be something she's not even got anxiety there, harsh truth and anxiety may even be something that she it was taken by her campaign that she doesn't know about. Um, okay, that's going to put her into some sort of retreat mode. Um, I don't think she's going to make a difference. Goodness me. I don't think she's going to make a difference, but I think there might be some money questions that she's going to have to defend herself against. Um, okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I do apologise if you're a uh, Jill Stein fan. Uh, I All I can do is read what the cards and the, and the guides bring me before making judgment. Let's see how it plays out. Love to you all. Take care. Bye-bye.